So today, we're going to make citrus aid. I figured with everything that's going on today right now, we could use something that would boost our immunity. So this is packed full of vitamin C. As you can see, lemons, orange juice, sugar, citric acid, water, that's it. So, I'm making a double batch. That's why there's quite a bit there. Now realize, there is a lot of sugar that goes into this, but that's basically because this is a concentrate. So actually, when you're done making this, it's almost a syrup, and you'll use 25% this to 75% water. So in other words, if you use a quarter cup of the syrup, you would use three quarter cups of water to make your drink. Give or take some, depending on what you like. Sweetness, you could add a little bit more. A little less sweet, you would just add more water. Okay, so for a single batch, you would only actually need three pounds of sugar, two ounces of the citric acid, four large oranges, and the juice of three lemons. Now you're going to use the zest from the oranges too, so make sure you wash them off before you actually get started. Okay, I'm not going to show you me juicing the lemons. I will show you me doing some of the zest for the oranges, but I'm not going to make you watch all of it. So, let's get started. Okay, now before we go too much further, we want to add the boiling water to whatever container you're using to keep this in. It has to stay in it overnight. I'm just using one of my water jugs. I already have the sugar and the citric acid inside. For my batch, I'm using four quarts of water, but for a single batch, you would only use two quarts. I'll put the recipe in below. Now, let's add the water. You have to be careful as you're adding this. You want to make sure to lift up a little bit so that there's air in there so it doesn't kick back on you. You don't want to know how I know that. <laughs> okay, we're just going to keep pouring this all in there. What you want to do is this has to dissolve all the sugar, the citric acid, and the orange zest, which we'll be putting in soon. But it won't really dissolve the orange zest. That's why you'll strain it when you're done. But it has to get back to room temperature. So that's why we're pouring it now. Next, I'll show you how we zest the oranges. Okay, I'm just going to give her a good couple shakes here to try to get everything dissolved. Okay, now let's get that orange zest. Pretty much, I'm just going to use this and rub it up and down. And you will see, after you can move it, it actually will take the outside layer off of the orange. You just have to do that with all your oranges. And try not to get the green part.
and done. Did I mention? It'll turn your hand orange too. But it also makes your house smell great. Alright, let me go grab the funnel and we'll get this in there. Alright, I like to use a butter knife. Try to scrape off as much as that you can. Alright, so there's our haul. Pretty awesome, huh? Okay, let's get this in there. Depending on the side of your funnel, you want to do it a little bit at a time, or a lot. With my funnel, I have to feed it in because of the container I'm using. But like I said, I'm doing a double batch because I'm going to freeze some of this so that we have it. Because, you know, with everything that's going on and how it's hard to get some stuff, I live in Ohio, so I'm guessing if the trucks decide to stop coming up this way, we're not going to see citrus fruit. So, I want to store my vitamin C up and use it when I need it. So like I said, I've already made a batch of this. We've got that one probably about halfway gone. So I will keep half this batch out probably and put the other half in the freezer. Okay, let's move that. Okay, now as you see, I already did the lemons. And I'm not too worried about there being pulp in it because we're going to strain this when it's done anyways. So let's pour the lemon juice off. Okay, so for this, easy peasy. I will warn you, since you cut, took the zest off, these aren't as easy to um, juice as they normally would be. So let's go ahead and juice them. So you gotta work a little bit more to get all the juice out.
All right. So I know what you're thinking. Boy, that seems like a big waste there. But actually, my chicken's low. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to turn that into another thing. I'm going to turn that into eggs. But as you see, I've got everything all juiced and ready to go. Now all I have to do is I have to wait on this to become room temperature. For me, it'll be a little while. For you, it'll be magic. Okay, so it's cooled down to room temperature, give or take a little bit. Now what you want to do is you add the juice in. And try to spill as little as possible. I think I got away with just maybe a drop or two there. Now, as you can see, my container might be a little bit overkill for the size. I probably could have fit a quadruple batch in there or something. But, these are what I have. Because we use them to drink the water from. And they're completely recyclable. So when I'm done using it, I rinse it out and I recycle it. Some other time I'll show you some of the other things I do with these. But let me show you what the end product looks like. Okay, so this is what the end product is. And if you can see, there is actually a layer of stuff on the top. You filter it and you still get some of the orange in there, but that's okay, it's not gonna hurt you, it's just extra vitamin C. So before you pour it out, I just give her a good shake. Stir it up, and like I said, usually I'll do about quarter cup or half cup of this, and then fill it out with three of the water. So quarter cup, three quarter cup of water. Two ice cubes, put it good. So, what are we gonna do next time? I think in the next video, my dehydrator here is gonna get fired up because I've got garlic, it's sprouting, and I'm gonna have to make it into some powder. All right, I hope you liked the video, and maybe you learned something. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more of my videos, subscribe. And remember, don't worry, we'll get through this together.